Well, I was, I am a salesman, and I drive a truck, and last night, uh, shortly after 7 o'clock, I was coming from Marietta, Ohio, coming down Interstate 77. And just before I came to the intersection of uh, Route 47, there was a car past me, overtaking me from behind, and following closely behind this car was this unidentified flying object. And as the car ahead, or the car behind passed me, this object was following close behind it, and it swerved directly in front of my truck, turning crosswise. And when it turned crosswise, it slowed down. It started slowing not abruptly or too fast, but it gave me plenty of time to step on my brakes and slow down with it. But it forced me to come to a complete stop. As soon as I had stopped, there was a door opened in the side of this vehicle, and this man stepped out and came directly to me, or came to the truck. He walked to the right-hand side of the truck, and he told me to roll down the window. He asked me to roll down the window on my right-hand side of my truck, and I had done what he asked. And this man stood there, and he, uh, he first asked me, what I was called, and I knew he meant my name, and I told him my name. And uh, he asked me, he said, uh, why are you frightened? He said, don't be frightened, we wish you no harm. He said, we mean you no harm, we wish you only happiness. And uh, I told him my name, and when I told him my name, he said he was called Cold. That was the name that he was called by. So much of this stuff online was just repeating the same second and third hand rubbish from the older websites or TV shows. But one thing I did see was that there's an esoteric bookstore in town. How it survived in the cloud age, I have no idea. But luckily for me, it showed up on the search listing for John Keel books. Maybe they have other old books that could tell me more about what attacked me. I won't be able to get over the experience until I understand it. Here for the closing down sale. Closing down? Oh no. Oh yes. Books have had their day, and so have I. Have you already sold much of your stock? No, haven't sold any, but everything must go. I wonder, it, it seems like sort of a cheeky thing to ask if you're shutting down, but could you help me find some books? If I have them, of course I will help. We haven't shut yet, after all. What are you looking for? Books on winged humanoids. Batsquatch, Garuda, dragons, vulture men of 19th century New York, the great moon bat of 1989. Actually, I... I wanted to find reliable books on Mothman. Mothman. I see. Well, there's John Keel. I've read all of them, and his notes are up on johnkeel.com. And there's no point giving you the tripe Grey Barker invented. So, reliable works on Mothman. Hmm. What's prompted your interest? College assignment? Witchcraft? Witchcraft? What do witches have to do with Mothman? Mothman has become incorporated in several belief systems. 
without any basis in fact, naturally. Ah, here we are. The Dreaming Cosmos. What's it about? A possible explanation for the Mothman and other things like it. What's the explanation? It's better if you read it all, but in simple form, Mothman is temporarily physical and real, brought into existence by feeding on emotion. In the case of Mothman, negative emotion. Then when it's fed, it becomes incorporeal, like a ghost or radio waves. So this is like John Keel's super spectrum theory? Disneyland of the gods? Similar. Keel theorized that these entities exist at different frequencies to us, slowing down to visit our part of the spectrum, what the common herd calls reality. But in fact, reality is just one part of an immense, largely unseen spectrum. For example, we can't see infrared or ultraviolet, so if a creature reflected light only in those parts of the spectrum, to us, that creature would be invisible. Wow. Yes, young lady. Wow. What attacked me or swooped down at me was real, not imaginary. But was it flesh and blood or some sort of hologram or something? Come with me, please. Who are you? Are you a cop? I work for Mr. King. Please, come with me now. I'm not going anywhere with you. What's going on? You can't just kidnap people like this. Yes, I can. I just did. What do you want from me? I want to know all about your encounter with the winged entity. How did you... Please, this does not have to end badly for you. In fact, if I'm pleased with what you tell me, I'll give you $2,000 just for telling my story? That's right. I can assure you, I have forced girls to do much worse things to earn $2,000 than simply truthfully tell me a story. Now please, begin. <laughs> 